What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. When I'm on the road with my laptop, sometimes I want a second screen. So on my last trip, I came to a realization. I had my laptop up. This is a MacBook Air, and it's the latest generation. It has a pretty nice screen. And the problem with it is I'm just so used to, in my normal work environment, having a second screen. You just get, I don't know, you get spoiled, to be really honest. I'm spoiled. Silver Spoons, Ricky Schroeder. Hey, uh, and so I was working in a hotel. I was on the road all week. And I will tell you what, toggling between two spreadsheets to do some work or PowerPoints or web browser, or whatever, is a pain. I know it's a first world problem. But I was like uh, doing work all day in a hotel room. And I thought, you know what? If I had a second monitor, it would be so awesome. So I picked this up. It's by AOC. It's not the first one I've checked out. I checked out my friend Dave's AOC monitor. Uh, but this is kind of the... Uh, a second monitor to another level. So what you can see here is it does come with a little protective sheet all around the bezel here. It's decently heavy, decently weighty. I'm gonna pull all this off here because I wanted to do that with you because it's so satisfying to undress new equipment here. Um, it's got this kind of gloss black bezel, AOC right there. You can see there's a little bit of a matte finish to the monitor itself. It's 15 inches, but look how thin this is. So, you know, it's about as thin as a smartphone. Let's take an iPhone here, kind of the new iPhone, and put it up there so you can see it's pretty thin. Now, one of the things that I was hoping is that it would kind of come in its own little case. Now, it did come with this, but this doesn't look nearly as substantial as I was thinking it might be. And in fact, I think it's mostly just a stand. Uh, but I was hoping, you know, when you're traveling with something like this, that it would kind of come with enough protection that you can put it in your bag, your messenger bag, backpack, whatever, without having to worry about something as large as this breaking. And you can see here, it's kind of like a little bit of a rubberized book and flap here, AOC. If I open it up, the inside is lined with a, like a microfiber and that's it. Um, if I lay it down here, I guess this is what it's supposed to do. It's got some magnets or something. You, the, the magnets are in here, I'm guessing. You can put it on there and it'll stay on there. Now that's about it. It's a nice fit. It goes a little little over the edge. Um, and so I guess that's how it protects the, the screen. You can see the back here is just like a sandblasted, aluminized finish. Um, but that's what you get for coverage. And that's probably okay. You know, I was thinking it might be a sleeve. But this thing also doubles as the stand. And so let's see if I can figure out how it would work. I guess maybe I would put it like this and then put the screen using this little uh, trough down there. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I guess like, I'm not entirely sure. There we go. There we go. Figured it out while we're doing it. Um, so these magnets in there are pretty clever. You can see how I've attached it right there. The bottom portion kind of folds up and holds onto the front like that. And then you can put this like that. And it actually allows you to do a little bit of uh, adjusting so it's actually pretty clever all right so there now I've got the monitor set up now here's the cable it comes with and actually I was wondering if it would come with it because you know USB-C cables are um, can be kind of expensive and what you'll notice here is it's two USB-C which is awesome so and the cable is pretty thick it's not very long call it three feet long more than enough. But the nice thing about USB-C or double ends to this is that you're gonna have all the power capacity and data capacity of USB-C. So sometimes these are USB-A, uh, kind of your standard USB port, but on my MacBook and many of the new Macs, all they have are C. So now what I wanna do is see if I can power this up and with one cable, transfer enough power as well as the video signal to this monitor to be able to use it without anything else. And that would be pretty awesome. So let's get that set up. All right, so I got my laptop and I've got the screen right here. And one thing I wanna show you here is that uh, the USB port is right there, but there's also a little power button. So I think we're gonna to have to use that. Now, one thing I can tell you is that it's gonna be a little difficult because the USB-C ports are on this side of my Mac and on this side of the screen. Now, I think in kind of generally, I would have the screen off to this side. That way I could have a mouse or something like that over here. But that means this cord is gonna to have to run behind here into the laptop. Like I have plenty here to reach this USB-C port, so I'm gonna plug it in. And boom, we're getting power to it right away. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, and 
I have uh, all my, my Mac icons over here. So it's definitely working like an extended monitor. And what it automatically does is it works like a monitor on this side. So I'm sure I could go into my settings and play around with that. And I'm gonna click on arrangement. I'm gonna take this other monitor and slide it over there. Boom. All right, so I'm now gonna close all this up. And now I bet if I take this, dude, looky there. That is awesome, awesome. And I tell you what, if I duplicate this tab and I slide this tab off of the browser, booyah, look at that. All right, guys, I have two uh, browser windows running. I'm gonna pause this one here. And now I literally have two monitors, no external power. This is running only on the USB-C cord from my Mac. Now, I probably would plug this in because I'm assuming this is gonna be a pretty decent power draw on here, but that's really what I wanted. I wanted to be able to make sure that I only needed one cord. Some of the monitors I was checking out have two cords, um, like a power cable that would go to a charging block like this and then to your laptop, but the USB-C cable is enough to send the signal and power it up. Uh, the screen looks great and you know, it's got that little matte finish, which I like. It's much bigger than my laptop here. So I got, I have an even bigger one. So whether you're trying to do work, which it's super great for productivity, or you're just trying to watch a video or something like that while you're doing some work, that's awesome. So I love the fact that I can uh, take this with me. It's gonna be nice and portable. I can take this case, slap it on the screen, protect it. Uh, when I'm on the road for working, this is going to be a welcome addition. Dude, I'm stoked. This is as good as I was hoping. So I am, I'm, I'm pretty excited. And this AOC monitor was one of the cheapest ones I could find for external use. So I, you know, you could use this at a desk at home. I mean, I, I think it's meant for more um, road warriors, but you could absolutely use it for home. Listen, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.